Yeah, so uh, I grew up in Athens, Georgia. And, um, <clears throat> we stayed on the east side of town of Athens um, in some apartment buildings. Uh, it was on East Broad Street. And uh, it, was a, it was a fairly nice area. I mean, that's where uh, I spent the first couple years of my childhood. I had fun, you know, we did a lot of Red Rover and kickball and, you know, pulling down, you know, people's laundry off off the uh, clothing line and whatnot. But uh, then around about six is when, uh, is when we moved to the other side of Athens, the west side, and uh, my mom applied for a Habitat home. And um, yeah, I was still kind of young. I was about six at the time. And um, my my first my my memory that that still sticks with me to this day was um, after we got the home and it was built, we spent the night in the home with uh, no furniture, no anything. My mom brought a TV and a VCR and uh, some blankets and pillows, and, and we slept in slept in our empty uh, new home for that night, watching movies. And uh, it was just kind of uh, a relief for my mom, you know to have a place called home, you know, uh, not only for herself, but for me and my uh, my sister and my brother. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's always been something that uh, has been dear to us, to, to have a place called home. There's, there's a lot of people in a lot of inc incidents where, you know, they, they don't have a home. People, people are always searching for their place to call home. I even get questioned now, you know, with my moving in the past years, you know, where will I call home? But um, but no matter where I go, I always find myself back back at home in Athens in my Habitat house, cause, cause that is home. But um, I mean, is is I don't know. It's just, I mean, um, for for me to have a room, for my sister to have a room. I mean, just just having a place to stay is. It's just so comforting in so many ways. Um, in the area that we moved in, I mean, it just jump-started my career with football. I mean, because once we moved into that home and into my neighborhood, I was able to start playing football. And um, that was when I was six. So um, so from there, I mean, just, just having that home uh, was the jump-start to everything. Uh, I think I think seeing that the one house that we seen the the green house, um, I think it just brought back so much. I mean, just walking through the house and, and getting that smell. I mean, it was the same smell that I had when we first got our house in the bed. We see that land and uh, to even just hear about just to hear about the family a little bit. Like, I know, I know how much it means to that family because I know how much it meant to us and. Um, I don't know, that, 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 was my, that was kind of my thing because it's like, you know, uh, it like gives people a sense of hope, you know. Uh, most, pe most people don't get that in life. Some people are searching for, you know, all their life, but uh, something as simple as, you know, just having a place to call home, a yard to have kids to run, out, run around in, um, you know, just have your own kitchen, bed, bathroom, and, uh, I mean, it's just, it's just so much that goes into that, you know, and, and it takes you a long way. And I think, um, I think with people having the potential to be homeowners, you know, after a certain amount of time, uh, it, it's, there's a lot of value in that. Um, and hopefully, you know, after, you know, my mom get the deed to her house, you know, and uh, Lord willing that, you know, I thrive in this industry as far as uh, football goes. I can build on that house. I can, um, you know, maybe one day raise my kids in it. I, I would first like to thank Habitat for Humanity. I, th I think it's, uh, I think it's great. You know, like I said, uh, giving people a sense of hope. Um, you know, giving people a place to call their own and a home. Um, you know, if my story doesn't uh, kind of kind of tell you, you know, what, what it means to people or, or how it can help people, then I don't know what it does. Um, I, I mean, and Habitat has been great to uh, me and my family, uh, just the people, the camaraderie that, that you have, you know, when building a home. Um, not only were people helping us build our home, but we, we were helping build some of our neighbors' home. And uh, we got to know our neighbors very well, still communicate with them to this day. Um, and, and we, we were all like a family because it, it was like four or five houses that were all built, you know, um, 
on the same street, so so we're all like family. We all looked out for each other, and um, I think we we all share that same feeling. So um, it's kind of like a you know if you want to call it a fraternity or sorority of its own, but uh, Habitat is a family, you know, and, and, um, and once you're able to to step in, well, once they're able to step into your life, um, it's like family. Yeah, so uh, for anyone that's out there watching, I strongly ask you to support Clay County, Clay County Habitat Humanity, uh, simply because um, it, it helped me, not only me, it helped my family. It helped us, um, you know, get out of hard times um, from where we previously stayed, but um, it, it's family. Um, it's, it's like no other. It gives people um, a place to call home. And for anyone who has a home, you, you understand how that feels. And, um, and not just because uh, I play football or I'm, or I'm in the NFL, but, um, you know, somewhere to, somewhere to lay my head, somewhere to, um, to play in the yard when I was younger, somewhere for my siblings to stay. Um, Habitat has been perfect for us. Uh, and for one day for my mom to be a homeowner, um, it, it's great. I know, I know most people don't have something to call their own, but uh, one day we'll be able to have our house that, uh, that we can call our own, not only uh, for my mother, but for myself and my siblings, and uh, for my mother's uh, grandchildren, and um, whoever, whoever else may uh, step into that house. Um, I don't know, that, that house means a lot to me, and um, I know it would mean a lot to uh, anyone else who, uh, who, who will become a homeowner or um, be approved through Habitat. So I strongly suggest you to support it. Um, and these, these are my words. Uh, I, I, I can't say how much it means, you know. Um, so I just strongly suggest you and thank you. So yeah, just a uh, just side note for, uh, for most people, uh, I know, I know now you know that I play for the for the Jaguars, but uh, just kind of give you an insider on um, on, on that, that house that we have. Uh, I did have my draft day uh, get together at my house, and um, but most people don't know um, that the, there's a lot of work behind the scenes. Um, and with that house, I, I was able to do that. My house does stay on like a bit of an incline, so. Uh, so having that home, I was able to I was able to run hills every day. I, I had a neighborhood to run around every day, kids to play with, and um, and stayed out of a lot of trouble. Uh, had, I had a community, and uh, that's what that house has done for me. So um, I was able to share, you know, one of the most important days of my life, which was uh, being drafted by the Jacksonville Jaguars in that house with my family and friends and. Um, it was a great moment, so uh, I'd like to thank Habitat for that.